Well, so today we're going to go dry, dry suit diving. I've got on a um, undergarment, and as you can see down here, this is my dry suit. And uh, most people who are using most people are using dry suits, they have to wear an uh, undergarment to keep them warm, and the suit is a shell to keep them dry. And what I've got on is a, is a kind of a modified thin solid polar fleece stretch super deluxe suit that's designed to really conform. I mean, there's not any extra air spaces and what have you on this. And this is actually really nice in 50, 55 degree water. The suit that I'm about to put on is a tri-laminate um, suit with latex seals at the wrists and the neck. Got a waterproof zipper down the front. And then um, an inlet valve that's there. There's a hose that will attach to this inlet valve so I can add air to the suit because as I descend underwater, the airspace inside the suit starts to squeeze from increased pressure and I've got to offset that. So I hit this inlet valve, air comes from my scuba tank, goes into the suit, and the air basically encapsulates my entire body. And that's what keeps me warm. And that's really what uh, the air in the undergarment is what keeps you uh, nice and warm and dry. As I come back up to the surface, I've got an overpressure relief valve here. And this is an automatic valve. So I've got this in the open position. All I really need to do is hold my arm up and the uh, gas in the suit will just come right out automatically. Uh, what else? You have booties on. What are the booties for? My toes warm. <laughs> I like your booties. Those are pretty neat. Yeah, that actually helps you slide into the suit. I used to have a lot of problems with my feet getting cold. And this really helps. And the boots are attached. Yes are attached to the suit so really once I'm in this entire suit the only thing that's exposed is my head and my, my hands. Mm -hmm. so everything else is protected from the water. I'll put on some neoprene gloves so people wear dry gloves and then I'll wear a neoprene hood to keep my head warm. Just trying to so that you can leave the dry suit half down so you don't get overheated. And I've been told you can throw the arms in the suspenders so that you can walk and they don't drag. Okay, so just so you can see what I'm doing, each of these seals need to be talked. There are three seals, the two arms, and the neck. There's the neck, which I powdered earlier. So most important to take care of the dry seat, wax the zipper and talc the seals. So here is the dry suit that I'm going to be wearing. Underneath I have my bathing suit and long john underwear and a thick densolate pajamas. How cute am I? <laughs> and socks. Thick socks, so I want to be very, very warm. And earlier, I waxed the seal and topped the seals. I'm sorry, I waxed the zipper and topped the seals.
that's okay, that's part of the fun. wide, right Craig? Hold this wide and pop your head through. And ladies, just give up on the hair. It's gonna be an issue until you decide not to.